Hello, it's editing me here. The first like four minutes of the video disappeared. It's not on my memory card. I don't know what happened. So the first thing I just said that was I'm going to do a first impression get ready with me on free products. So there are two from Lunar Beauty. It is the Strawberry Dream, the eyeshadow palette. It looks like this. I'm going to show you this more later on in the video. And also the Moon Prism Blush from Luna Beauty that looks like this. And also a highlighter that Jessica made me buy. She has talked about them or about these a lot. So it's from Lime Crime. It's highlight and this is in Opals. So yeah, just, just get back to my past self but my future self. My card stopped working in camera. I took it out and put it in again and I hope it will work. Um yeah. Okay. So I'm putting on my eyeshadow primer and I really love this one from Milani. And I am not going to talk about anything about what's going on in the world right now, especially in the US. I still want my channel to be like a safe space and something you can go to when you don't want to think about what's going on. You just want to listen to makeup, see makeup things. So just so you know, um, yeah, a little disclaimer only. Okay, now we're going into the strawberry dream. I think I will start with... Should I swatch? Never swatch, so I will not. Maybe should I? No. I will start with Skyline and then maybe take Sunrise. We'll see, but I will start with Skyline in my crease. And it's little stars in this shade. In the middle row and I don't want to destroy them, but I guess I have to do it. Okay, it's one thing that I want to tell you, some of you already know. We are buying a new cat. If everything will go as it's supposed to go, we will have a new cat in about a month. She is only like 8 or 9 weeks right now and she's going to have be vaccinated one more time and going on like a checkup with a vet and if everything looks good we are getting a new cat and I'm so happy about this if you didn't know we one of our cats passed away in the beginning of this year it was really hard and it feels like the cat we have now she feels a little bit lonely because we are at work the whole day, so she's home alone. And we know that she likes to have a friend, so we are finally buying a new cat. And we are actually buying a Maine Coon. You cat people maybe know what cat I'm talking about. They are going, they are big, they are big cats was my boyfriend's wishes, not mine. So we are going to get a white Maine Coon, a little girl, and we haven't... I think I know what I want to give her for a name because it's my turn. But we will see when we get her home if it fits. Maybe I'm going to show you her when we get her, but she's so cute. Um, the woman that we are buying her from said that there's always, and this we know from before, it's always a sh risk that white cats can be deaf. And they don't know that yet. She's not deaf now, but I think it can happen later in life. I, I actually don't know. But we like, we want her anyways, we don't care if she can't hear us, we can, we still want her. Okay, I'm going in with Sunrise now. So that I'm looking forward to so much and really hope that Elsa, the cat we have now, 
wants a new friend and wants to be with a kitten. <laughs> I have no idea. So that feels really good and so fun. I love cats. I am kind of crazy cat lady. So yeah, that feels really really good and I can't like I can't wait to get her home. So that's I guess <laughs> would be what we are doing this summer. Raising a new little cat. This has been one of the palettes that I have had for such a long time, but like haven't used. I really don't know why, because I think it looks really good. But it's like something has held me back from using it and I don't really know what. So it feels good to finally, finally use it. Okay, I'm going to try to find a somewhat kind of clean brush okay, with this one okay so I think I want to take sunset and then take ruby skies and then horizon and then maybe this one in my inner corner we will see so I will start with sunset out here and I hope that all of you out there are feeling somewhat okay right now I am feeling a little bit not my best I don't know why I don't know if I am more affected with what's going on in the world or if I'm just be like me my personal life my private life I don't know I haven't been feeling super great for quite some time now and I just feel a little bit low low and slow and that's why it hasn't come up that many videos because I I have realized now like if I don't want to film I am not going to do it and it has been like some weeks now where I'm just it's hard for me to sit down and actually film And do you see here what I bought? I bought metal straws. I don't know what I think though, but I bought them. And it feels like, okay, should I end this? Get rid with me now. Because it doesn't feel like I have anything more to say. Okay, I actually don't know why I thought it was a good idea to... To get rid with me, because now I like don't know what more to say. Okay, I will go in with Ruby Skies, Ruby Skies and Horizon and first take Ruby Skies, a little bit over this I put down here, I hope it works, maybe all over, I don't know, we will see how dark this is and then take Horizon and I will try without a glitter glue first. And it feels like it's working. Okay, I think I will take this somewhat over the sunset. Maybe this isn't that opaque that I wanted. I I don't know. I think though I like it. And I think I actually want to go in with storm cloud or maybe nightfall. Maybe that one on like out here. I think I would do that. Maybe I shouldn't have taken sunset at all. This matte pink, but it's a little bit late for that. And it feels like it has become very very many pink looks on my channel the latest I actually don't know what happened there but maybe this is going to be the year that I discover pink it feels like I mostly want the horizon on my eyelid but I don't know how much space should we save 
Okay, I think I will just swirl this brush a little bit. And go in with Nightfall Dark Shimmer. Take it out here. Okay, maybe this was a bad idea, but... You know what? I am doing it right now. I don't know if I am that impressed by the shimmers in this palette right now. But maybe. I think it looks good. <laughs> so we're going with the gold one now. And I really hope okay, it looks so heavy on the brush. I think maybe the ruby skies that I had like in the middle is some other formula but it feels like this horizon and the nightfall, the dark one, was a little bit more impactful. A little bit more impactful? What, what am I trying to say? But it was a little bit more like a shimmer and the ruby skies was more like uh, glitter. Okay, I don't know why I try to explain things. And maybe I should just have done like a normal first impression because now it feels like I can sit here quiet and just test out all the new makeup because I don't know what to say. But it feels like everything I want to talk about, it's going to be so, so negative, so sad, so somewhat depressed, I don't know. But maybe I should just talk about it because this is my channel and I know that a lot of you like appreciate when I talk about stuff like that because... I guess many of you can like relate to it and that is good so maybe I should just talk about it I don't know maybe I do the eyeshadow or my lids finished and I think a little bit about it if I'm going to talk about more negative stuff and we will see Okay, I really love this gold one. I used to really start to like gold. When I was younger, I hated like gold everything. Or when I was a teen. But now I actually, I have gold ear weights in. So, yeah. Okay, I think the lids are done like this. So, I'm going to take away the fallouts and then we're going to do the base together and I'm going to try some more new stuff and the new techniques so I will just take away the fallouts. So for the base I don't know this is maybe a super bad idea I'm finally going to try the Milk Hydro Grip Primer but I also want to give the Milk Flex Stick Flex Foundation Stick a new go I don't know if this is a bad combo or not we we will just have to wait to see so the Hydro Grip Primer Ooh. It's really, really, really gooey. Maybe I took too much. It doesn't smell anything. Exactly. Okay, so while I was taking away the fallouts, I bought that. What the fuck? Just let. Oh my god, this is sticky. I'm wondering. Can use. Oh shh. Is this supposed to be like this? I'm not really. I wonder, can I even use the stick on this? Yeah, we will have to figure that out. I. Okay. I have no idea. I don't know what I feel about this. I yeah, should just sink it in. So, okay, should I just, should I just s s spill my guts? I, 
okay, this is going to be sound strange. I think it was maybe like two weeks ago I uh, had, I was thinking if I should just uh, quit YouTube for some days and now the latest I have started to feel in periods not depressed but you know like so tired okay I'm going to use the a foundation brush with this stick foundation I don't know maybe this is a stupid idea as well but I'm pew. I don't like this with a sponge so we'll see how it goes with a brush um maybe depressed is a little bit long way to go but I have just felt like Nothing really matters. Okay, maybe I think this is going to be a catastrophe. Uh, maybe that is like the definition of being depressed. I don't know, but it has just been for maybe like three days or four days or something. And then it went away and I have that in periods now and I don't really know more to do about it. It's just that I feel... I still have gone to work and everything like that but nothing more and it was one day I... I think it was a Sunday I was in bed like the whole day I didn't want to talk to my boyfriend I just lie in the bed and watch documentaries on Netflix and that was like my whole Sunday and I still could sleep at night and I usually okay this looks awful I don't know if it is the foundation or the um Primer, but this looks oh my god I never have had such a bad foundation and I can't like how can people think that this brush thing is better than a sponge I don't know <laughs> and okay this looks I can't I don't I don't think you can see this I don't think you can see how bad this looks or can you and it's now I don't know if it is the foundation or if it is the primer but it's like I don't have a lot of pores but it has like got stuck in my pores um this looks like a disaster if i'm going to be honest a true like disaster and for me to say that it takes a lot so i do not want to wear this that's all i can say i do not This looks almost disgusting. I am going to wash this away and I I like can't even it doesn't feel like I can give the highlighter or the blushes like a fair review with this base under. I f think it must be like the hydro grip primer and the foundation isn't a good match like at all. I wish you could see this or maybe not I don't know but it looks not good okay so I will wash this foundation off I'm like impressed how bad it look so I will wash the foundation off and this is 
I like don't know. I try to see if I can see it in the viewfinder. But it's like it's not laying good on the skin. And like in my short a little peach fuzz, it's like gets stuck on each of the little hairs and and no 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 no. So okay, for the fourth time I'm saying this, I'm going to wash this off and we will take something completely different. Okay, so a clean face again. And now I maybe do the same mistake once more. I'm going to take another primer that I haven't used, but I'm going to use it together with my serum foundation that I love. So I hope I will love this primer as well. This is from Kix. It's Skin Protecting Primer. And oh, and I actually <laughs> accidentally rubbed my eye a little bit. I think I saved it so I don't think you can see which I hi which I I have messed up. Okay. So okay, I'm going to look this way because I have a mirror there. I think it too much. This is a water-based primer and it feels really good. It's got a scent to it. Don't like it, but it's feels really good on my skin. It's a little bit cooling and it took way too much. I can take it on my neck as well. I don't like the smell but okay, this feels so much better. So I'm going just to take the one drop coverage from Catrice. And because this this concealer is a really high coverage, so I like to have it on before I go in with the foundation. And okay, where were I? Because I had to charge my camera as well. Um, I think I said that that I am thinking about. was I? I don't know what I was talking about. I know that I mentioned that I was thinking about quitting YouTube or have been but it's not going to happen and but it's just that I get are you a little bit crooked? I think you maybe. I just get sometimes that I. It gives me more stress YouTube than it gives me joy, and it have been that from time to time now, and I don't like when it is like that. So then I have been maybe I should just quit, but instead I am thinking that I'm just going to. Maybe cut down on videos and maybe because I want just to, maybe I have to watch what I'm doing in the mirror. I just want to record when I want to and the last couple of weeks I have almost like have to it's a fly in here, force myself to do it and then it's not fun and uh, yeah it feels like I'm at this point like always and I get tired of it which maybe isn't that strange and then I'm like okay maybe it's not like worth it to actually do it but at the same time I when I'm doing it, I really love it. Maybe not today is a typical day that I love YouTube, but I think if you have a YouTube channel or maybe like 
you post a lot of Instagram or you have a blog or something, I think you can recognize the feeling I'm talking about. And I'm just so afraid that this is going to be something that feels forced for me to do. Because I have talked about this before. I have a full-time job outside of YouTube. I don't get any money at all from YouTube. And I just do this because I think it's fun. So, yeah. When I don't think it's fun, it's... It's not good. So maybe it will come less videos on my channel. But it feels like every time I say that, like my inspiration come back again. So that's why I don't know if I want to talk about it. Because it usually like solve it by itself. I really hope you get what I mean. So, okay, now I'm going to do my eyebrows and I'm actually thinking of doing them off cam because I don't think I can talk at the same time and I don't have that much to talk about more. So I want to have something to talk about when we test out the blush and highlight. So I'm going to do my eyebrows off cam. Okay, so another stupid idea I want to try out. I am finally <laughs> testing out my milk bronzer, matte bronzer in baked. And I, I always thought like, this is too dark for me and I want to use it as a contour. And I know that a lot of other pale people use it as a contour. So I think I'll try it. And I actually think... I was like this brush, this is a contour brush from Real Techniques and just boop boop. We'll see. I guess this, if Angelica Lirema is watching this, I guess that she's sitting there at home and just I hope she hate that because if I don't like this I am going to give it to her. <laughs> She doesn't know that yet, but if you watch this, Angelica, if I don't like it, you will get it. Okay, uh, it doesn't feel like I get anything, so maybe I should go in a little bit more heavy-handed. Okay, I actually think I do like it. It doesn't look like warm on my face. And if you're new here, I do not use bronzer because <laughs> this pale face do not bronze. This is one thing I hate with ear weights. They are like in the way. I actually think I like this. I think I just need to see it. A little bit up close, and now I feel more happy for some reason than I did in the beginning of this video. I don't know how much you can see, it's very subtle, but that's like how I like my contour to be. But I think this actually works good as a contour for me. Okay, so I actually think I like this and this it's too flies in here now okay this is a haze with summer because we need to have like all the windows open because it's so damn hot in this apartment and the flies just keep coming in so now I will test the moon prism blush from Lunar Beauty as well and when I saw this I was like I'm going to buy it First of all, love the packaging. I love like every packaging they do. Um, all these moons and stuff are raised and it is six colors. I can't use them all. I think these are going to be too dark for me. I like it though because I think that these are going to be good on deeper skin tones. 
and I like that, but at the same time, I don't know if I've talked about this. Let me take away the plastic. I think I talked about it with... Okay, I think I've talked about this, but I think that more brands should do like... Like Anastasia with their contour kit, they do a light, medium, and a deep. And I don't know if there is any skin tone that can use all of these. Try maybe can use this as like a bronzer. I don't know, but it feels like they should have done two instead. That's just my opinion. I don't know. And I don't know which one I want to use. I think I want to use this. Stargaze. So I think we will do that. And I have no idea how pigmented it is. This is keep okay, pretty pigmented. And do you also do like this when you put on blush? I don't know, know why I do it. Okay, I. I think I like it. Can you see anything? Okay, it looks pretty much in the camera maybe. It feels like... It works with like one swoop, but it's easy to build up and it's even. And it looks good and the flies are... Fighting. Jessica, maybe you can come here and take a fly with you home that you have done before. Okay, I really like this blush. <laughs> yes, I really do. So, so happy with this. I think maybe this, to take this Twilight and this Soleil as like a topper on the twilight. I think that would look amazing. I'm not going to do that now though because now I'm going in with some highlight and I think It's now I like I'm a little bit mad with myself that I never swatch thing. It's three colors So this looks more pink green And a little bit more like champagne -y. This doesn't look green in the camera. Okay, maybe I should switch. Ooh. It looks like these. I think I actually want to try this one. Or maybe. I'm going to take this one out on the corner. Now we don't have any mirror, so we will see. Okay, it came a lot to the brush. Ooh. This looks really, really nice. Really nice. I take a little bit on my nose as well. Okay, so I'm going to put on some setting spray. And okay, this primer from Kix, it still smells. I don't know if it is my face that smells. I have no idea. Let's do the under eyes. And what should we do for the under eyes? Maybe I should just go in with I think it was skyline and sunset I had. Oh, was it? Yeah, I think it was. And I think I'm just going to go in with them and then take blue diamond as my inner corner. And I think that is like a little bit more of a chunky shade, like. Is it Prue in Moonspell? And okay, this Get Red With Me, like always with my Get Red With Me, it feels like 
it's two parts of it. One part when I am really like a little bit down. <laughs> now I am feel like I'm much more happy than in the beginning. Maybe because I have talked a little bit about how I am feeling. But another thing that I am have floating have thought about, have think, think about, I have been thinking about, maybe you say it like that. Um, as you see, I have my hair up, I usually don't have it on my channel because I always want to look like my best with my hair and everything and I should have washed my hair like two days ago, I just haven't and then I feel like I don't want to film because I feel that people are going to look like me that I am disgusting and my hair looks pretty disgusting. And I maybe shouldn't have mentioned that I haven't washed my hair for quite some time. But like, it doesn't matter. One part of me is like, I don't care. And... But one part is like... I always want to look my best on camera and I don't want you to like look at me and think like You look disgusting I don't know if you I guess it's only in my head and I know that I never like judge someone if they have like a dirty hair or have the hair up in a bun But when it comes to myself I just don't feel it and yeah when I've been feeling down like in my personal life taking care of my appearance has not been like a pro priority to me I guess it's like that for the most of us when we're not feeling well and yeah some days it has just been, okay, I have to survive the day at work. And yeah. And it feels like it's Sunday today when I'm filming this. And it feels like Sundays are my worst day of the week. I was lying in bed for maybe one hour and just watched YouTube. And I didn't feel well at all. And... It feels like it's that like every Sunday and I don't know what it is. I think what it might be but I actually don't want to take it here. So I am taking my little pinky with the blue diamond and we will see if I can press this into my inner corner. Oh my. Oh my lord. This was really like intense. Okay, I really like this inner corner shade so so much. I'm just going in with the brush that I have the gold one with and just and okay I got this on my nose. Okay I really 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 do like this makeup i am going to put on my mascara but i want something in my wash line and you know what would have been look great my dirty talk pen here it is it's broken it would have looked great together with the gold in my inner corner. Maybe I should just take this cross instead, or maybe punch. I take punch. And there is so much I want to order from ColourPop right now, but the things I want is not in stock at the same at the same time. And right now I don't want to make two order from ColourPop if I'm going to be honest. Because with the whole like virus thing, it feels like Sweden. I think we were one of the countries in the world that didn't close down like at all. We did some 
some things that you couldn't be like more than 50 people at the same time and you have to keep a distance and people that can work from home can work from home but like we didn't do anything more than that and it feels like the rest of the world hated us for that and like they're still punishing us for like not sending out packaging to Sweden I don't know it just feel like that <laughs> because I ordered from Nomad Cosmetics. Okay, I'm just going to... Because I ordered from Nomad in the end of March. And my package was stuck in Chicago for two months. And then I asked them if they could see where my package was. And they cancelled my order. I got the money back and everything. But it was like... I couldn't wait for the palette because I really wanted it. So... I have nothing to complain about their customer service because they were so quick and really nice but it, at the same time I didn't want to cancel, I just wanted to know where my pack package was and, and like with Kaleidos I'm getting PR from them and I'm waiting on the new collection <laughs> I know that what I know, nobody in Sweden has gotten the package. Not me, not Angelica Nyqvist, Angelica Nyqvist, or Paulina. And I know that a lot of people in the US and, and in the UK have gotten their package. And I'm like... It wasn't my choice to have the land, to have the country open, okay? So, okay, for my lips... I have actually two new lippies, somewhat red. I have one from, okay, I'm going to swatch these and we will see. Oh. And yes, I am that person that think that you can buy or take red to pink eye look. Okay, so this one is from NYX and this one is from Nabla, I really Maybe it's a strange thing to take this deep of a color to a pink look. Is it? Will it look pretty awesome? Maybe I should go with this. I actually think I will go with this dark <laughs> red one to this pinkish look. Just because I love Nabla and I want to try this. Okay, maybe it looks a little bit strange, but... But, hello. This color is amazing. I love this. I actually want to see if this is a dupe for Unicorn Blood. Okay, I think that the Unicorn Blood is dark. But this is Unicorn Blood and this is Unspoken and Unspoken is darker. Okay, I... Is this like the most vampiest, gorgeous red lips you have ever seen? I guess it is because it's the most gorgeous I have ever seen. So okay, that was all for this Get Ready With Me. I think this went on pretty long and it felt like we started like very very happy with telling you about the new kit and we are going, going to get going to get and then I talked about how I'm feeling low and everything and then the foundation disaster and then it just it feels better now and <laughs> I really hope that some of you like bear with me this whole video I'm sorry about this but okay, maybe a little first impression just on the products I've tried and also we can start with the lippy. As you know, Nabla is like my favorite liquid lipstick formula and this unspoken. Gorgeous. Maybe not to this look, but you know what? I actually don't care. The highlight palette from Lime Cream. Really like it. Jessica, you know what you was talking about. Love this. 
Okay, Ted. I used the peach one. Um, and the blush from Lunar Beauty I used. Can I bend this back? I don't know if I dare to do it. I used this Twilight. No, I did not. I used the Stargazer. I really like it. It's one of these blushes that I really like that you can build up. And like love the packaging of that. And then to the Strawberry Dream. Maybe now I feel the smell is a little bit too much. <laughs> First I was like, I like the smell. Now I'm like, okay, maybe not now. This is why I don't like smelly makeup. Smelly makeup. Makeup with scents. Scented makeup. Because I think it's a takeover. I like it at first, but now it's like, it's like, please don't smell anymore. So maybe I should have this out to like, get rid of the smell. Okay. I can't stand it now. It doesn't smell bad, it's just me. So I have used the blue diamond in my inner corner. Love it. I've used Ruby Skies, Horizon, Nightfall, Skyline. Uh, skyline and sunset horizon and nightfall is like normal shimmers it feels like this ruby sky is more like the pressed i don't think it's a pressed glare but it feels more chunky than the horizon and nightfall a little bit like the blue diamond maybe i should study this maybe i should look this up before i start but as you know me i never do I think the shadows were good. I think the ruby sky was a little bit. I think I need a glitter primer under it for really like getting it intense. This horizon. I love it. I just love it. So yeah, this was my get ready with me. My first impression me talking about everything and nothing. I really hoped you liked it and if you're not subscribed to my channel, please do so you don't miss any of my videos. And yeah, I hope I'll see you in the next one. Bye!